gonna show you how to do the heat step. This is one of the most common steps in electro swing, also a very common step in other styles like hip hop and shuffling. It's really easy to learn. Of course, it takes time to master it, but just learning the basics is really simple. So let's get into it. We're gonna start off in this position with toes pointing inwards like this. So from my point of view, it kind of looks like an A. So I'm gonna call this the A position. And I'm going to call this the B position. So we're going to start here in the A position. Feet are pointing inwards. So there's about 90 degrees between the feet. Now let's have a straight posture and the weight equally distributed over the feet. Now we're going to pivot the left foot on the heel to the left. We're going to pivot around 90 degrees to the left. So now the feet have ended up in parallel. Okay, so let's go back and just do that motion over and over again. So you can feel how that feels. So you still keep the weight on both feet, but on the weight while you're pivoting, the whole weight is on the heel. Okay, now let's go to this position and now let's rotate the right foot, but instead of rotating on the heel, we're going to rotate on the toe like this. So let's go back and forth a few times. Okay, now let's stop here. So you can see that we went from this A position to this B position, hence the word B step. Okay, so now we're going to do that together. So at the same time as we're pivoting on the left heel, we're going to pivot on the right toe, like so. Okay, now let's go back. And now we're going to pivot to the other side. So the right heel, we're going to pivot on the right heel and on the left toe. Okay, so we're gonna do that at the same time. So we go V, now we go back to A. Okay, so now let's put that together. So we're gonna go left, middle, right, middle. Left, middle, right, middle okay so with the counting let's start off counting slow we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight now let's do double timing so let's go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so you see that on this on this when we count like this we're gonna open the feet on the strong beats one two three four and then we're gonna close on the off beats one and two and three and four and okay so one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and, okay? Now, let's go left, middle, right, middle, left, middle, left. So we go left, right, left, left. Now let's go right, left, right, right. And we're counting, that is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Of course, you can also combine this so you can can do this for some time. 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then you switch to two and three and four and five and two and three and four and I'm going to show you from from the back side so you can follow along so start off with with the, the normal V step so one two three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and the variation one and two and three and four and 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 now there are a few ways you can you can vary the styling of this so the step itself is really simple um, but just by varying a few things you can make it look really different so the first thing you can do is vary how much you lift your feet so what i did now oh, as i did now the feet were pretty flat to the ground like so so even if i have the weight on the part of the foot that is pivoting I keep in contact with the floor the whole time with the whole feet but you can also lift up so when I'm lifting on the on the left foot when I'm pivoting to the left my toes go up and with the right foot the heel go up okay so up back up back up down 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 so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and the second thing you can do to to make it look different is to vary the angle between the feet so now i have around nine degrees so each foot is pointing in or out or works 45 degrees of course you can make the angle smaller so two and three and four and one and two and three and four you can make it bigger one and two and three and four and in general you want to make the angle pretty big uh, instead of really small angles but of course it's also a, a matter of preference i can't do the really wide because i'm not that flexible um, it also depends on the song it's a really fast song obviously it's going to be more difficult to go out really wide now the third thing you can do is to vary the distance between the feet so now i had the feet together like this so here, toes together, heels together, but you can also increase this distance and then you do the exact same thing. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now the fourth thing you can do to vary the styling of, of the V-step is how much you bend your knees. So as I did now, my legs were pretty straight, not too straight, because it, then it's going to feel awkward. Uh, so you don't want to have your, your legs locked. Uh, you can have a sl slight bend, or you can bend a lot. So this is how it looks when you really bend the knees. So you see that now the knees are moving a lot. So in out in out in out in out so you can see that even if it's the same step this and this it looks completely different especially when you combine it so if you both have wide distance and bend the knees okay so that's it Good luck with uh, practicing and see you soon.